let's take a closer look at these stitches and what we're going to be doing. I have a few examples here of some simple straight edges that have been put together in the flat felled seam. And when I turn the material, you can see that there is no front and no back. There's no back side to these seams. Everything is enclosed, in, or excuse me, the raw edges are all enclosed inside of it. So this kind of patchwork can stand alone or we can quilt this later, which is my plan. For the napkins, I decided that even though there's no front and back, I sort of imagined that there was a bit of a front and a back based on how I finished the edges of the seams here and at the corners when I hemmed the edges. On this little example piece, you can see I did something different. So I chose to have the gray extending over on both sides. And I made that decision when I rounded the hem. I took both of these and folded them back onto what became the back side. And then I made those stitches. With this little example piece, I took one side and folded it this way so that the bulk of the seam that was orange extends around. For the other side, I took the black seam and tucked it underneath here before stitching the edges. You will find that your stitches have a bit of a different mark making technique depending on which side you're stitching. Some of them will appear like little dashes and you'll have other stitches that appear like little slant marks going through. So that's the differences there. Over here, I have the sort of slanty marks on the back and I've got the little dash marks on the front. So let's go prepare our scraps and dive in.